Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is VK from Phenomenal Creations and hope you're just doing fantastic. Today's week's tutorial. The exciting new tutorial is about, you guessed it, pizza. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I burned it, but it was a mistake, you can always succeed, you know? Pizza is hard, it's not easy. Okay, just kidding. What we're gonna to do today is learn the secret skills about Jedi powers, like telekinesis, moving your stuffs with your mind, magneto stuff, you know? It's kind of like get an object to fly to you, past you, and just move them around. So that's what we're gonna be doing today in Inside After Effects. So be ready, put your VFX pants on, because today we're doing shit. Hi guys, and welcome to the other side of the internet. My name is VK, and welcome to Phenomenal Creations Video Effects Tutorial. So basically today we're gonna show you how to awaken your inner mutant powers. How to make things levitate with the power of your mind. Which is just like a click of a switch. Well that would be super cool. So because I can't do that yet, I'll keep you posted when I do, I will be doing a tutorial about that. But I will show you what I can do is to do a VFX alternative, how to get things to levitate. So let's jump straight into After Effects, but we are already in After Effects. So let's go to the tutorial and show you how to make things levitate in your videos. Okay guys, so here we are. Nothing has changed. Ne nothing in the scene has changed. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is to show you how to make this cool banana just like to, to fly around um, and levitate. And if you can see the, the weird distortion thing here, and like the ghost thing, it's totally optional, it's my bonus thing, I think it's pretty cool when you can see um, like some cool like distortion, so it's not just a plain banana or apple or a macbook or a horse, you can see some cool distortioning, but you can do, you can do anything, it's super optional. So how are we gonna do this, and how is this done? Like seriously, how is this done? Because I'm not touching it. No one's touching it. It's actually not that super hard, but everyone doesn't know about this. Everybody, everybody doesn't come to think about this. So I'm gonna show you. Super simple. Take your footage and put it into a new comp just by dragging it to the new comp button. And I'll show you right now what kind of footage you should get. So in the beginning, I have my common talk shot. Okay, my computer's getting hot, but I don't care. Because we're gonna do this still. So I was about talking, I was talking, and after I have been talking, you can see. Okay, now it's getting real noisy. I'll just put this. Down. So guys, excuse me, my computer was running hot and it was like getting loudy, so I was just cooling it down. So what are we going to do, as you saw here, is you can see when I get out of the scene, you can see something pretty random happening. You can see a string and a skiing stick. It's as simple as that. You just need uh, something to hang on, a string to anything you're doing. And then I was just like rotating it in the air, just like this. It was not that big of a deal. So... That's the basically the, the cool thing with VFX when you can when you can like get practical stuff with it. So this is like real things and it's not like just putting 3D elements in something. 
So let's go check it out how to make this to look like it's levitating without the string and anything. So let's go ahead and start cutting this, um, this like, this clip here. We could hit B on our keyboard to get the comp to start there. And then I'll go to a selected frame. I know uh, which frame it is, but it's different from to everyone. So 504, that's where I need to split my layer. But it depends. Um, this is the frame uh, the effect starts on. So it's different for every one of us. So hit Command Shift D or Control Shift D to split the layer like into two pieces, like this. And then what I do, I will rename this to Main, and the other one to Main. Um, continue. Something like that. And then let's duplicate it the main continue with command D or control D and let's rename it to banana. Duh. Of course it's gonna be a banana. Alright, so what we're gonna do is to now put the clip like getting it forward till the banana starts right there. And then let's split the layer with command shift D or control shift D and delete the beginning part like this. Okay, so now we got this and it looks weird. We don't know what's happening here. And maybe some of you noticed when I just, and this is something super important to keep in mind when you're doing these kind of effects is, um, you see when I'm standing right here, even though I was doing this like 10 seconds after I start, uh, I stop talking. You can see the light changes. Just like a small uh, like some the tiniest bit. But that's not that's not okay because when we're doing masking, it doesn't match up. So keep on keep that in mind that your lighting is constant, it will make your life so much more easier. But how do we fix that? Okay, so the basic principle of this effect is basically this. You have your banana comp and go to your pen tool and then you just make like a mark or just like doing it um, masking around the banana so we get the string away and we're not need needing any kind of clean plate because this is one whole video so we don't need to put anything in the background because the main continue is our background but I'm I'm surely aware you're seeing what is happening over here this doesn't match up. So how do we fix that? Maybe you don't have this problem because you shot in really good lighting conditions or constant lighting conditions. How do we fix this? There's a few ways for uh, if it's super drastic, you can do anything. You just have to reshoot. I actually did this tutorial I like shot it five different times in two months. And I couldn't do the tutorial because the lighting was changing so much or then the camera moved it was super picky but I got it all right so let's go ahead and find curves oh yeah curves adjustment here from the effects and presets panel and let's just drop it into main continue because that is the clip we need to affect or you can do it to the banana doesn't matter just for the sake of the tutorial we could do it on a banana because we can. And then I just put the RGB a bit up. Try to get to match as close as possible. And then I take the blue channel and take it just the tiniest bit down for a bit more yellowness or blueness or something. Just like playing around like this yeah so when you're pretty close it doesn't have to be perfect but when you're pretty close go to your banana with the mask hit F on your keyboard and feather it out make the ends look smooth that's how you do it and then it looks like it's blending in the scene and everything works so we take off the curves and with the curves. 
you can see the difference so uh, so our, every problem is fixed right away so then how is this effect working hit M on your keyboard for mask path properties and then what you do this is a pretty time-consuming effect but I'd say it's it's worth it at least in, at some point so what you do is you hit V on your keyboard select like the banana take uh, take the masks and then you just like frame by frame you're moving the mask so the string is kept hidden so the string can't be seen and the banana is showing and just doing this basically frame by frame and when it's turning you can shift click on one of the points to move them independently like this but but try to avoid to make like uh, when you take it closer, it's like fading out to to take it all the way here Like between two frames because then you can see some flickering with the light try to keep it close and When it's like turning you're just going with it Not 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 doing anything that's super fancy, but you know This is the basic idea So I'll be back when I have done this so I'll see you just in a minute. So guys, welcome back. Now I've done every this frame by frame masking around this. And if you want, we could change the um, the color of this mask so we can see it a bit better. I like this kind of pinkish look, maybe. So now you can see it a bit better, just for like, you can see where the mask moves. So it's just a bit of a frame by frame playing here. And I did this pretty hasty. For the sake of this tutorial, but you can do is super detailed so we don't get in that this called flickering light, and the flickering is due to the color correction we did. So a, if you didn't do it properly, you will have some flickering, or b, if you didn't do it at all, you can see flickering. But if you were shooting in constant lighting situations, you will see no difference. So that will not be a problem. So what we have here now is basically levitating banana. And don't mind the the, the small um, the the small light artifacts or the flickering, because I, I I say this is the basic function how this is done, and so on. But you know you learn from your mistakes. Okay, so that's the basic way how to do this. And if you want to do the cool like distortion effect, it's also pretty simple. How to do that is you take the banana comp and you duplicate it with command D or uh, control shift D, uh, <laughs> command D or control D and call it uh, like distort. Let's go to effects and present, take one of my favorite effects, mosaic, and hit on the distort. <laughs> Looks super weird because it like divides you this into boxes. And let's take the horizontal blocks to maybe somewhere around 70 and the other one to 70. Something like that. Let's take the um, turbulent displays. Put it also here. Let's go uh, take the complexity up. Something like this. And let's go ahead and keyframe the evolution from this whole clip. Just hitting the evolution stopwatch here, go to the beginning of the frame and let's see, go somewhere like here and take it to something like 180. Okay. And what do we do? We can go ahead and take a fast blur effect. Don't mind the noise. The computer's just getting pretty hot. But don't mind me listen to my voice. And let's take the fast blur and just blur it out just like uh, 10 pixels. Repeat edge pixels if you do want that. And then let's go ahead and click C on our keyboard. And let's drop this down to 15% of opacity or maybe more. Yeah, keep it on 22, 23. Something that area depends on your clip. 
everything and this also helps clean up a bit of the lighting artifacts because now it looks like a distortion so this is like a ghosting effect um, I'll be do a pre-render just uh, so we can see something I'll be just back all right so here we can see some just a small render of this kind of ghosting effect here you don't have to use this, you can take down the transparency and everything, but I think it adds on, um, it, it gives a, this kind of like, you're distorting the time and the space, like the space around it. So it gives this kind of cool look. But you don't have to use this, or you can use anything you want. I think that this looks pretty cool, and pretty nice. So, that's the basic effect here. If you want to cover it up, if you're getting flickering in the bottom, you could uh, also... Every time I just add like anamorphic bars to hide something. And when you do a color grade, it can help too. But this is the basic thing. Hope you guys like this video tutorial. Uh, like this video if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Comment every, anything you want down below. Everything from video suggestions to how your father is feeling today. And yeah. Or your grandma. Or your brother. Or your school teacher. So, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are up for some more content like this, then go hit that subscribe button down below. New stuff coming all every Wednesday, so be sure to hang around, because new stuff, new amazing stuff every Wednesday. So, my name is VK, hope you guys like this video tutorial, I'll see you next Wednesday.